Hello, good morning. So right now we are gonna meet our contractor Alan and Jimmy. See the three D uh, draw that they done up so that we can actually confirm and start with the Reno. But yeah, we are very very thankful. At least with the three D drawing, you you know that you and your contractor are on the same page. So yeah, very excited. So HDB actually handed the flat to us, I think, was it this earlier this week? So, yeah, because the defect checks are done. Our defect check actually took about two weeks and they were quite on time with their timing. Like, they say they will end by this time, they really did end this time. Uh, the only issue we had with the defect check was mainly the electric points. Like, when we checked the individual electric points, some of them are not working. So, that's why I mentioned in one of the vlogs to bring along the charger so that you can check. A lot of you actually asked for the contractor detail. Just DM me, I will let you guys know. And you guys also ask if they have a physical store or you know office. Yeah, they do have. Yeah, like standing right behind them now. So if you can tell, their office is at Tampani, so it's actually quite convenient to just pop by and you know consult them. <laughs> Right now, we are heading to the house to check on the update. Our leaf, our BTO leaf looks like that. <laughs> Okay, so basically we're gonna check on the progress of the house because they started hacking the house yesterday. So they said that they, it takes two days to complete hacking the tower so actually that's pretty impressive I thought hacking would take like probably a week so oh there's someone in the house already so exciting because every time when I see the house it's like so clean <gasps> It's like second day of hacking and most of the staff are up. Okay, I'm not trying to exaggerate, but our balcony is up and the toilet tiles. Toilet tiles are up too, so exciting. Okay, we're gonna go and buy a drink. Come back. Let's go. We are back at the house. Today is the fourth day of Reno. It's Sunday, so that's why there's no construction now. So before you guys actually question me or ask me why are we hacking certain stuff, a little bit of background story. When Ken got this house five years ago, he actually opted in for the tile. So it comes with the tiles. Yeah, the HDB, regular HDB tiles. When we came into the house the very first time, uh, yeah, we knew that it's not what we want, it doesn't match the team. So that's why those that we can overlay, which we are going to overlay the entire uh, living room with vinyl, we are going to do so. But for example, our kitchen, uh, we will have to hack, hack it away. But of course, you will need permit for that. So as you can see, our service yard is also hacked away so that it will be more like spacious in a way because our house is open concept so we really want everything to be very spacious, very big so far okay just to put it out there for your toilet you're not allowed to hack bathroom. them for your bathroom bathroom and toilet is the same <laughs> for your bathroom or toilet you're not allowed to hack them for the first three years because they just don't want any they plumbing. have cement screening at the bottom so it's waterproof so if you take it away they're not going to cover the warranty correct mm. so, so only, only overlay that's why for the toilet, if you don't like the BTO toilet, it's okay, you only can overlay them, you cannot hack them away, okay? Okay, so you're... Oh, funny like milk. So yeah, this is the condition and state of the house. Actually, to be very, very honest, I think it's very, very fast already because today is only the fourth day and our balcony! Okay, I can't go in because I don't want to dirty. Our balcony is up! Woodish, woodish tone. That oh. is really like yep so the welcome is up I can't see the is this the tiles that we chose or is this a cement it's like pang mong hui until I don't even know this is a tiles this is a oh yeah this is the actual tiles that we chose okay it's a bit dusty 
<laughs> Everything's like grey and sea, man. I don't even know what it is. I thought it was done. Then I went to walk inside it. So that's why my shoe now is like. Oh dear. Mel, you're so stupid. But anyway, our toilet house are up. So fast, right? Initially, I. From a distance, I couldn't tell if this is our toilet towel or it's just the cement because they are all very like of the same tone. I think that's what we are going for if you look at the inspo pic for our house. It's more of a very modern industrial vibe. Yeah. The fifth day of Reno, and we're gonna capo. <laughs> Look at my very kind husband. <laughs> he got this ice box for the worker, and I'm actually very thirsty. Uh, I want winter melon. Then my winter melon left very little. They, they like winter melon. They, they, they finished the Red Bull. They finished the Red Bull? Yeah, I put two only, because only one guy. Uh. Oh, so they love Red Bull. Okay, now you know what you can buy. Yeah, my husband's so cute, yeah, seriously. Got this box. I buy one coconut water, you also take the coconut water. Coconut water? Good. Good, good. Yeah, so from this, you know which one they like, oh. Ah, how? Mmm. Don't know why, for some reason, right, it's very, very, very hot and thirsty every time I come to the house. <laughs> I know you guys must be thinking, why are we so crazy to come to the house every single day? I think it's a good thing also, because at least if there's any rectification that needs to be done, we can tell our contractor to do it. Yesterday, there was something that happened. Okay, so basically, it was the day whereby they are going to put up the kitchen backsplash. This is actually our kitchen backsplash. As you can tell, it's marble. Because they have a joint in the middle. Because tiles are like two-piece joint together, right? So they put it in such a way that the marble design is so concentrated. So I'll put a photo here. Can you tell how ugly it is? Yeah, so Kat and I, we didn't realize it first, but I was like taking photo, and then when we went back home and looked at look through the photo again, then that's where we realized, oh my gosh, why is it so ugly? So thankfully, you know, the towels were still here, and they were able to rectify. Can you imagine if the towels actually dried up and we couldn't rectify it? I think I will, I will be kind of sad because it's very expensive, and I have to stay at it every single day. It looks more soon again. Yeah, it looks so much better now. Like it looks more soon, right? Oh, like this one. Before, after. Before, after. So we have one more expression as well. Here is to put the fridge. Here will be wooden cabinets, and then here will be black. So you can imagine. Can you imagine? Let's go and capo, capo, and check out what is being done. Okay, so. Progress of the rooms is they actually leveled the the floor. So if let's say if you remove the HDB vinyl, right, in a way it will not be level. So they have to put something like a cement thing to level it, which they have already done so. And our toilet, which I am very very happy and proud of, our homemade toilet. Remember I told you guys that I like this kind of texture. So you can hear. So yeah. Can I walk in afraid after what happened? Bring back my box this time. Whoa! This looks like a cave. Does it remind you of a cave like hey day? Our this wooden plank is actually similar to the uh, balcony plank. So this is for the wet area and this is for the dry area. So it's fifth day and a lot of stuff. I think towel works are done. So first up is towel work, then next is the uh, aircon ducting, and then they'll start with the electric points, and then they will fall, do the false ceiling, followed by what? <laughs> Actually, there's a lot. I have a list I can write down here for you guys. Cause I tried to Google like what is the step by step, and I couldn't find. Because you are too big here. Yeah? He's complaining that he's too. 
small volume. Hey guys, so as I was editing the vlog, I realized there's something that I want to point out which is after the towel work has been done, right, the next one is air conducting and air conducting is not done by your contractor or your ID it's, if let's say you're getting your aircon from Gain City, then it's done by the Gain City person so you have to call or make arrangement with Gain City to get them to come down to do the air conducting which is something that I think because we didn't know like it's our first time and a bit to the very last minute and they told us that they could only come like three weeks later kind of thing so from now that the towel work is done we have to wait for three weeks also for the aircon guy to come and do the ducting which is honestly pretty annoying because you know renovation is like step by step things like one two three four five six everything has to be done in a very systematic god there's a mosquito everything has to be done in a very systematic order so if like one is done next is two if two is not done we can't do three so that's kind of like uh, but anyway yeah, i just want to put it out here so that if you guys are watching this i hope it will be useful to you know remind you to make the appointment for the aircon duct before even towel work begin because towel work honestly takes super fast and the aircon site really needs you need to book up with the aircon person okay just saying so, yeah that's all i think this shall oh my gosh so I got, ah! <laughs> okay so i think this shall conclude the vlog um, yeah so now it's just the towel work nick is the aircon ducting and then they are going to do the wiring for the electric points then we can go on from there yeah so yeah thanks for watching see you in the next episode Hey <laughs>